Hi, this is David at Mash IT. Tonight we're going to be looking at Alienware's new BIOS option, which is the TCC. Now this lets you adjust the actual thermal point at which the actual system starts throttling. By default, Dell allows the system to go right up to 100 degrees C on the CPU before it starts throttling the CPU back. Now that's great for performance, but it's not so great for the actual system temperatures and the actual heat of the actual laptop itself. So the TCC option allows you to have an offset from 0 to 15 with zero being no offset, therefore 100 degrees C before it starts throttling, up to 15, which gives you a, an offset of 15, so it throttles at 85 C, and you can choose any number in between that zero and 15. So in order to test this, we're going to run a few synthetic benchmarks and a bit of gaming at both the zero setting and the 15 to see the best and the worst case performance, or the throttling, of this actual system. Now we were initially going to test this on our M17R4 when it arrived, but the improved thermal system on the M17 meant that the system didn't throttle past the 85Cs in the actual gaming benchmarks. Only in synthetic benchmarks could you see a difference, so we decided to abandon that video and wait till we got this M15. Now the M15 with its smaller cooling solution gets much hotter than the M17, and therefore it's much more likely you're going to want to use this TCC on this system. So in order to adjust the FCC setting within BIOS, we first need to get into the actual BIOS of the actual laptop. Shut down or restart your computer, and upon boot, tap F2 at the prompt to get into Setup, which is the BIOS settings. Now once you're in the BIOS, move across to Advanced, use the cursor keys to tab down to the Performance options. Return into there, you'll notice the TCC Activation Offset. For this test, we're going to change it from 0 to 15 so that we can see worst case for performance and best case for temperatures for the system. Once you've finished, go to the exit, make sure you save your settings and reboot back into Windows. Now in order to complete this test, we're going to be running the system in balanced mode. We're going to be using Cinebench R20 for our first benchmark. And we're going to complete this benchmark firstly at its zero TCC setting, so 100C uh, throttle point, and then we're going to run it again at the 85C throttle point. Now we're going to use throttle stop and the task manager on the screen at the same time so we can see the clock speeds and the temperatures and the wattage of the CPU. Now you can see on the 100 degree C throttle point we're using 106 watts on this CPU. So it's allowing pretty much full power to this CPU within this chassis. And the temperature shoots right up to 100 degrees. It throttles it back just a little bit. So we're getting 3.8 gigahertz across all eight cores on the CPU. Now that's incredible for a slim and light notebook and only a little bit less than we're getting on the M17. So good performance, but we are hitting 100C to do that. Now once this test is completed, we've done a multiple runs. We're getting an average of 3,730. That's a good score for this 8-core Intel CPU, but it is running very hot to do that. So then once we change the TCC to 15, so therefore the throttle point of 85C, we completed the test again. Now you can see on this new run with the 85C throttle point, we're getting about 3.2 gigahertz across all the cores with approximately 60 watts of use. So it's about 40 watts less than the 100C cap point that we used initially. Obviously that's going to have an impact on the performance, but also the temperatures of the actual chassis and the internal temperature of the system itself. Now we've got a score of 3,250, which is still a pretty good score, about 15% less than the 100C cap point. So if you're not bothered about temperatures and you want to get the maximum amount of performance out of the system, obviously leave it on your 100C, and in fact you could bump the fans up and it would actually be less than that with the actual CPU anyway. But if you want to run it balanced so you get reasonable fan noise, by popping this TCC on, you're still getting reasonably good performance. So now that we've looked at pure CPU performance, we're going to run some gaming benchmarks followed by some just gameplay footage itself. To start with, we're using Shadow of the Tomb Raiders at 1080p max settings. Now we put them side by side so that you can see the actual frame rate as it goes through this benchmark and then we can look at the quick benchmarks itself. But just to summarise, we're getting between 15 and 20 more frames per second when we allow the system to run up to 100C maximum on that CPU. With its throttle point back to 85C, you've obviously lost a little bit of performance but you're running in a much cooler and quieter system. In all honesty, when you're actually playing the games, you're probably not going to notice that 15-20% unless you're talking a AAA title and then you might want to leave it on the 100C max setting. Mm -hmm. 
So the second game in Benchmark, we're running Warhammer Total War. This is at 1080p Ultra settings. And again, we're going to have the 100C on the left and the 85C the throttle point on the right. Now this game is slightly less CPU heavy through the benchmark and it actually results in very similar scores between the two and you can see by the results at the end they're almost identical. So a lot of games aren't even going to be affected by dropping this uh, throttle point down to 85C but you still get that benefit of never hitting past the 85C so you're having better internal temperatures. And lastly, we're going to put in a bit of gameplay footage, some Call of Duty Warzone. This is at 1080p max settings, ray tracing off. Now you can see straight away here, this is quite a heavy game. Now on the left, we've got the 100C throttle point, And because it's such a heavy game, we're running right up to 100C at certain points within this game. It, you're getting between 50 and 60 watts whilst we're playing, and clock speed is about 3.6 gigahertz and the frame rate is pretty stable between 100 and 120 frames per second so it's a very playable experience other than the heat. Now on the right we've got our throttle point at 85C. Now obviously temperature is never going over 85, it's much more comfortable uh, to use the machine and also on the actual components inside of it but we're losing 15-20 frames per second in certain areas. You can see as well the clock speed is only about 2.9 gigahertz and the wattage is between 25 and 30 watts a lot this time. Now it's still very playable and it's a lot more comfortable to use but you are losing a fair bit of performance on a game that is you know, hammering the CPU and the GPU. If you're looking at the longevity of your machine then I would definitely say it's certainly worth looking at using the TCC uh, to get a cooler running machine and therefore hopefully make it last longer if you're not willing to do any other tweaking. What I would say to you, if you're prepared to do a bit of undervolting or run the fans higher, you can be running maximum performance without having to even use the TCC, but it does take a bit of effort to get there. In the next few days we will be running a performance video and some tweaking videos to show you how to get the best out of the machine, and therefore we will probably be able to give you the same performance without using the 100C maximum load and without using the TCC option. Now we've taken a fair amount of footage of Warzone, some of you may be interested in watching it through so we are just going to leave this running, so if you want to watch this to the end feel free. I hope this video has been of use to you, if you've got any questions or if you'd like to see anything else, pop it in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. And uh, please like and subscribe and hit the notifications button and there will be more videos on this M15 coming up shortly. And lastly, thank you for watching. Bounty target identified. Slot the bastard.
Contract updated. New objective identified. Objective identified. Enemy UAV overhead. UAV overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. UAV overhead.
got gas moving in. UAV overhead. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, that time. 